Hey everybody! I am back with a little bit of a different video. This one is a mini haul of gifts and some photos from our friend Robin Powell, who um, is also one of the people who sent me a gift. <laughs> Thank you, Robin! And um, then I think we'll do a little bit of stitching on the next rice bag because that's the project I'm working on, not because you need to see it, but that's what I'm working on. Um, I know it's nothing new. I'm sorry. So my friend Karen that we went to lunch with yesterday, she came bearing gifts and, sorry, I know, crinkly. I'll throw that over there. And um, these are really cool buttons. Now, the only problem with them is they're, they're not going to be washable. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use them on. I thanked her profusely because she was a dear to think about me. But I don't know what they're made from. But, okay, this is going to have to come down. I have to move you down. Close your eyes. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> I think they're wooden. Which, of course, would not... You, you can't wash them. So what am I going to put them on? Things that I don't wash. I mean, there's a whole ton of them, and they're beautiful, and I want to use them. But I, I don't think they're, they'd be washable. I think they would probably fall apart if you put them on something that you might launder. Like, I could use them on my Japanese rice bags, but what if I launder them? Because they get dirty. So she got these from Timu. Um, uh, suffocation made in China wooden they are wooden so they're beautiful um, I love them but again so tell me what you would do with these <laughs> I'm sort of at a loss Robin sent me some of her um, pieces of felt this is beautiful that's like a velveteen. I don't know if you knew that was in there, Robin, but hey, <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is the, there was a label in one of them, on one of them that said bamboo. It's bamboo and something else. I don't think I have the label. I think the label fell out on another part of my carpet, but um, that's beautiful. This is, that feels like a hand felted wool. But it doesn't feel like wool. So I don't know what that is. But that's nice. That, that's nice. But I mentioned in one of my videos that it's very hard for me to find 100% wool. This is what I'm looking for. Because I want to make um, some mini needle cases. And this holds the needles just perfect. And you can see the needles, you know, in the color. So, Yeah. This is perfect. The, the, these little strips here are going to be perfect. And this is lovely, too. This is different. I like these. They're beautiful. And then this, of course, purple. <laughs> Ooh, that one's nice. Maybe this is the bamboo one. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that holds the needle well, too. Nice. Nice and nice. -y. And then this one. Oh, yeah. I, I'll bet you that's the bamboo. Is that the bamboo? That's nice. Those are beautiful, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I do have something else from Robin. Um, she sent me photographs, which, of course, the screen closed. I'm going to see if you can see these. This is one of the bags that she made. Isn't that beautiful? I love, of course I love the butterflies. And if I remember, this is, f is this four by four, Robin? And I love your straps on it too. It's like a twill tape, but with stitching through it. Now she made these on the machine. Um, she did hand stitch some of these here. 
but she, you know, did all of the assembly on the sewing machine. She did the overlap bit with the tabs, which is fun. Oop. <laughs> Videos. <laughs> and this is her newest one. Isn't that cute? Can you see that? There you go. Hey, bigger picture. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And that's the inside. She put a pocket in. Why didn't I think about pockets? I don't think about these things until somebody else does it. Then I think about pockets. <laughs> so I think that's it. Yeah. So thank you, Robin, for sending me the um, photographs of that. I appreciate it. I think they show up better when I show you on the iPad than when um, I put them in the video. Because when I put them in the video, it's... Um, I don't know, the video editor does weird things. Um, all right, where am I here? So, alrighty. I stitched the bottom, and I had a really hard time stitching this. And I don't think I'm going to use the denim bottom. I, at this point, I'm... Uh oh I just dropped my needle. I'm leaning away from using the denim bottom. Um... I don't know, I think this was what was hard to hand stitch through. And this is a medium weight uh, Pelon sew-in interfacing, medium weight. Not loving it. Um, and I've seriously thought about going back to um, quilt batting, but I'm gonna follow through with this project. My only trepidation about that is that I'm using my very precious indigo dyed um, cotton. And I don't want to be unhappy with the bag when I'm done. <laughs> but these are the squares that I've put together. I don't think I showed you these prior. And they do have the interfacing on the back. I thought that looked like a dress. Doesn't that look like a dress? I feel like I need to put a head up there. But I'm not going to. <laughs> And then I did this one. And I really want my indigo fabrics to shine. So I'm going to stitch on these. But I put a couple of embellishments on, on that one and that one and that one. I haven't done anything on this one yet. So, yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to do minimal here. Um, just because I love my indigo fabrics so much. So I think we'll stitch on this one maybe. And I may make the bottom out, out, gosh, pins, out of one of these fabrics. Um, these are commercial fabrics, of course. Um, trying to see what else I have here that I pulled out. And there's that one. This is not your typical ticking. This is a very thin cotton. I do have some ticking that is heavier, this here. Um, I don't know if this is big enough. That might be big enough for the bottom, so I might use this one. But you can see the difference. This is like a canvassy, almost heavier fabric, and this is a light cotton there. So, I don't know. Um, I did not make these. These were sent to me in, ex in an exchange. And so, yeah. I'm going to put these back in their little work bin that I'm using. I need to pick my needle up. So, um, hold that thought. I'll be right back. <laughs> Luckily, my floor is carpeted and it didn't go far. So, yeah. Now, what am I going to... What am I going to... Boy, I'm a lazy speaker. What am I going to... What am I going to do? Alrighty. I think I do. I have. I have this dark blue thread. And I did try sewing the bottom with this 12 weight thread. Didn't like it at all. I'm going to use... I have 8 weight here. Yeah. DMC Cotton 8. I think I'm going to use that instead. Now, I 
think I'm just sticking with um, blue and white. This is going back in the bin. I think I'm sticking with blue and white. I know, you lost me there, right? This has to come off because that's the edge there. So I'm going to work on this here. This here. And I don't know how long this video will be. Probably not long because... <laughs> oh, no. What did I drop? I dropped the piece of fabric. There it is. Um, I need to... Whoa. I need to just... Okay. That, that little bit needed to come off. It's overlapping just a tad much. Alrighty. Yes. Okay. If I make that the top... See, things like this would get lost at the top because when you cinch the bag, um, it kind of loses whatever. This fabric has me stymied. I guess it's the same on both sides. Now, I did not dye that out. Obvi obviously. Obviously. I'm a little hesitant <laughs> Put anything on this. I just love these shapes so much. I don't want to cover them up. Excuse me. Hmm. Yep, I just did that. So this is the second video I'm making today, but you shall not see it until a later date. Because I did one video for today. We are still talking about when to go away, where to go. Where is this thread? I'm trying to find where it's hiding in here. Come on. All right. You know what happens when I do this? I just do that. I know. How awful, right? If you do it the right way, it comes out okay. I've done it once or twice before. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. I'm going to go over here and do it. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a long one, too. <laughs> that was a lot wrapped around that way. Goodness. I hope this finds everybody well. It's a beautiful, sunny day as I'm filming this. On the day that you see it, I have a feeling it's not going to be so pretty, though. We have a bunch of rainy days coming up, and it's... Unless... The weather forecast is wrong, which actually, lately, it's been very wrong. I mean, there have been three days, I think. At least three days in the last mm, two weeks that they said it was going to rain all day. It didn't. It didn't even come close. It rained at night that day, but it didn't rain during the day at all. It was a bright, sunny, cheerful, happy day. So it kind of makes me mad because sometimes we make our plans based on the weather and it makes it very complicated. So, well, I should just <laughs> uh, we all have these days, right? Please tell me we all have these days. If you watched my Day 94 heart 
100 day project. Yeah, we're just going to call that good. <laughs> you will know that Martha has been having some real Martha days <laughs> recently. Meaning, days that don't always go smoothly. Oopsies, oopsies, come back. Please come back. Now, what am I going to do? I have no freaking clue because honestly, I just don't want to cover up this fabric. So this is one of those situations where you kind of have to just jump in with both feet and start doing it. Um, it's like, this is so precious to me because I don't know when I'll ever get to dye indigo fabric again, but this bag isn't going anywhere. It's, it's for me. So I can do as little as I want or do as much as I want and I can you know even when it's all assembled and put together and I haven't even done one thing yet and I've got a knot already how the heck does that happen I mean seriously come on I've already started this video three times. Yep. Yeah, I don't like sewing through this. Um, through this um, interfacing at all by hand. Not at all. Hate it with a passion. Not enjoying it. Now, the other thing I could do is not sew on the interfacing. And I could literally just um, sew through the, the top layer of fabric. And then attach the interfacing with edge stitching. But I am not enjoying it at all. <laughs> I think this will be the first and the last bag that I make with this interfacing for hand sewing. And trust me when I say I'm extremely tempted to switch out the interfacing for quilt batting. I am like so not happy. <laughs> I'm very tempted um, to make a couple, well, okay, let's start with one. Make one with just the sewing machine and just not hand embellishing it and see how I like it. I know it would go extremely fast, but you know, this is what I enjoy doing is the hand sewing. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's the route for me. I know I could whip them, whip many of them out. And the ones that I've seen done on machine, lovely. But this whole um, hand stitching thing, that's my thing. That's my jam. So, I... don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go that route or not. Now, I did um, Robin, our lovely Robin, who always comments on my videos. She's, she's my very good friend. We became friends uh, gosh, I don't even know how long it's been, Robin. You'll have to tell me if you remember couple years now became email friends and she was extremely helpful in getting me through my cancer journey when I was not making anything or posting anything she stuck by me listened to me whine 
complain and so forth. I'm going to move the cord so the phone might jiggle. I keep bumping into the cord. There. All right. Sorry about that. Let me move you over a little bit more. And um, to be honest, she was like, I think the one person that stayed in touch with me regularly, one other friend out in California who is also an email friend. Um, but those two people, especially Robin, though, checked in with me every day. And I think that was hugely um, responsible for keeping me from falling apart too much. Not that I didn't fall apart and tell her about it, but you got to have a Robin in your life, I'll tell you. But, um, see, I got off track. Now I don't know where I was going with it, Robin. Anyway, she, um, she's been making bags by, with the sewing machine. Oh, and using her embroidery function on her machine and she's doing great work with that so I'm extremely grateful for her sharing those with me via email this is really this interfacing is top stuff I know the bag is going to sit up nicely. It won't be padded like the quilted ones. There's just something about quilt batting, I think, that I enjoy. It's um, the cushiness of it, maybe. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Robin. Robin sent me an email with a link to Crafty Patty. That's where I was going with that story. Then I got, you know, squirrel, butterfly. <laughs> got waylaid. Got distracted. Uh-oh. And um, Crafty Patty does some interesting bags uh, in her video. And she also makes a wine bag using the same method, but of course making it tall enough to fit a bottle of wine in. I don't drink wine. I don't have any friends so I can't gift <laughs> I mean I have a couple of friends I don't think they drink wine I don't know if Robin drinks wine but Robin can make her own so she doesn't need me to make her one but anyway um I thought they were very interesting but she also made crafty patty that is made a denim one using a pair of her husband's old jeans and I have a pair of my husband's old jeans. I've chopped up one leg. I don't think I've chopped up the other leg yet <laughs> of the jeans, <laughs> not of my husband. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I do have those. And she does a very clever thing using the side pocket of the jeans because the back pocket was too big for the size bag she was making out of the denim of the jeans. She used the pant legs. But the back pocket is so big on men's jeans. I mean, men's pockets are huge. It's just not fair that women don't have the same huge pockets that men have in their jeans. It's, it's just not right. I cannot fit my phone in any of my jeans pockets. It's just not right. I'm telling you, it's not right. Anywho. Uh, <laughs> so. This is taking all my strength to push this needle through. Oh, my finger is sore. <sighs> I got this finger caught. This is the one I slammed in a door several days ago. And you can't really see it, but there's a little bruise right there on my nail. 
But this one I just jammed in my phone holder when I was trying to take my phone out. And yeah. So there. Okay, <laughs> that's on. <laughs> Good little patch. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I don't want to cover any of this up and I don't know what to stitch on it. I'm so confused because I don't want to ruin it. And I don't want to make it... I don't want to distract from the beautiful fabric. Okay, um, I'm putting that down there for now. All right, now what to do with these? I think I'm gonna do like a flower thing or a starburst thing, I, I think. I think it's not long enough to do anything with. I am learning not to use quite as much thread as I tend to use. You won't believe what I just thought. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> not even going to go there. I'm so confused today. Oh, man. <sighs> you can probably guess what I thought, but anyway. Sir, I think... What do I want to use as far as a stitch? Wow. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Ooh, I think I'll do that. Okay. Um, hold that thought. No, I'm not going to sew one of these on. I'm going to use it to do a pattern. That's too, that's just right. I think I'll use that one. Yeah, wooden buttons are beautiful. Love the prints on them. Can't really do a whole lot with them. Because can't wash wood. All right. Where's my blue pen? Not happy. I've misplaced my blue pen. Don't know where it is. Well, I'll have to use the black. Didn't want to, but I'll have to. Okay, let's see. Is that the right size? I'm going to go one smaller. <laughs> Decisions. Decisions are the hardest. Ask Rachel. She says that all the time. Or something that means that. I think I'm going to go with that size. You know. We'll see. Okay. Sir... I want to get it sort of like that. All right, so I'm going to do put a dot there. I'm going to put a dot there and a dot there and a dot there and a dot there. And then I'm going to make the dots so I can see them. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. This one does not want to mark. There. Yep, that'll work. Now I got to find my blue pen. I know I have a black pen downstairs. Now, find the center. I think that's the center. Oh, 
Hopefully. Okay. So this weekend, now when you see this, this video is for the future. I think, I don't think I'll post this right away, but I don't know for sure. Um, but this weekend here in the U.S. is Memorial Day weekend, which Monday is Memorial Day, but people celebrate the entire weekend. So do you have any special plans? Are you going anywhere special? Are you having company? Are you having a cookout? We are not doing any of the above. Our community is very hard to get into on weekends because for some reason everybody and their brother come here. All right, this is, what size is this? It's a size eight. I wonder if I should do that and something else. Nope, I'm just gonna keep sticking with it, okay. Are you with me? Get a little more light on the subject here. And the interstate interstate will be horrible this weekend. So going to see anybody we know will not be any fun. We don't have Now, my other flowers, I went clockwise. However, I saw something recently that said you should go counterclockwise. Not sure why. Not sure the difference. But these are those woven roses. I think they're called, whoop, don't go under there. At some point, we're gonna have to go see our horse, but he is, he doesn't know it's a holiday. So. He gets, every time we go out to see him once a week, he gets all kinds of treats and goodies and grass. And this is kind of hard to see because it's so dark. I think I'm going to have to pull out my lighter threads. had my door open, but then somebody started mowing and somebody was weed whacking. Like the neighbor, two houses down, was mowing. The uh, construction crew is out there to build the pond. They have big machinery and they're doing something in that they do something for about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. Then they back it up. Well, you know, big machinery. It has beepers on it. So they back it up and it beep, beep, beep. Uh, so I did my last video with the door open, but then when the guy started mowing, I was like, okay, that's it. I give up. So the window is open. The sun is streaming in. And though it's not supposed to be that hot today, it's like boiling hot in this room from the direct sunlight coming through the window. It's like a magnifying glass. <clears throat> Plus we were out today, so I'm froggy. Because allergies. Oopsies, come on. So in case you can't tell what I'm doing, you just go through every other spoke. 
I mean, <laughs> seriously can't get much easier than this. <laughs> and I don't think it matters. You can go either way. I don't think clockwise versus counterclockwise matters. Like I said, I did all my other ones clockwise. Going this way. For me, it's more intuitive to go that way, I guess. You just hit every other one, so every time you go around, you're going to be hitting the opposite one you hit the time before. Yeah, don't like it in the dark thread. I'll be honest. Should have used a variegated. Next. And of course, you know, I obviously wasn't in the center when I did this because my spokes are all off. But you can cover that up. Eventually. Just keep going around and make that one looser. Like leave it really loose over there. I do have a lighter thread that'll match this indigo better. I should have used that or a variegated thread. Not like I don't have a lot of those. Oops. Come on. I know you're in there somewhere. There you are. And then what you can do is cheat a little. So you can come in here. You can like pull some of these out. Just put this tiniest stitch in there. Oops. And it sort of pulls it down and covers up that stitch. You can do the same thing on any others that are, seem to be sticking out. Or you can keep going around with more thread. Like I... I did this on my other ones that I did and it just helps like kind of anchor those threads too from getting a little wild and I have to call that good because <laughs> I won't be able to tie off my thread but that was easy and it's a lovely effect woven roses Okay. How long are we? 38. I need to find my other... Um... This. Oof. That is 12. Look how pretty that is, though. Do I want that? Do I want... This, that's pretty too. How about yes and yes? <laughs> and what I think I'm going to do though, I think I'm going to use, I'm going to go back to the white. And I think, I think, thinking a lot, aren't I? Me thinks. I have to send my brother some information, and I haven't done the research for that yet. Well, I haven't pulled out the stuff yet. The research is already done. I just haven't done the pulling together. You know how there's just some things you put off doing? All right, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. But we're going to give it a go. Nope, don't 
like where that's headed. Okay. My pistol stitch action going on. And then this is kind of what I was thinking. But I wanted to not do it directly from the center. That's why I filled in the center with that little woven rose. Oops, not there, not there. I'm trying to get right there. I'm kind of trying to cover up that little edge of the spoke that's sticking out. Okay, ooh, not thrilled with that. Mm -hmm. That's a little loose. Loosey goosey. This one. Pull it tighter, Martha. This is sort of shadowing the spokes a little bit of the woven rose, I think, you might say. Ooh! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> that needle went right through my mat and right to my leg. <laughs> yeah, those are loose, but hey, you know, special effects, right? Okay, let's see. just love this fabric. I don't know what to do now. I don't know that I'm doing the fabric any justice, but we'll see. Okay. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to work on this a little bit. And when I finish this block, I will either put a picture at the end or you'll see it in the end. Um, and I may be back in a separate video to do some more stitching on it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I think um, shorter videos are better. But I do know. I think I'm going to do one of these up here. I just have to decide what thread to do it in. Let me see. Oh, oh. Not like I don't have a bunch of blue variegated, right? That'd be pretty. I'm not crazy that there's green in it, but this is all blues, but I don't feel like it's the right blues. This is pretty, but it's very light. Those are too light. Hmm. That might be the one I use. Is that the same? Yep, 1014. What I did is, is I broke these boxes down into putting like colors alike. Like I have two of these. Um, so my blues are all together, my purples are together, my greens are together. Yeah. I could try that one too, just for the variation in the in the flowers. I guess I have 15 minutes. I will play with one of these and do that. Do another one of those in the center here. Yeah, I might like that one better than I think I would by looking at it. Just looking at it. <laughs> by, by just looking at it.
Let's try another one of these. Let's see if we can get it centered a little better this time. Probably not. You know, I don't have high hopes for myself. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Okay. Let's get all this other stuff out of here because I can't can't work. All right, button and pen. That was the right size. But this one, okay. Ugh. Okay. That, 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 and that. I'm going to go right there ish for my center. Usually I'm pretty good at eyeballing it, but there are days. <laughs> many, many days. Doesn't this look like a dragonfly or butterfly right there? Like there's the body, there's the wings. Yes. There's gonna be some outlining out lining going on in these pieces as well. Come on. Let's see, I don't feel like that's, I feel like I need to come down this way, just a tad. Now I'm gonna to be too far south here, guaranteed. My husband's probably wondering what the heck kind of video is she making in there because this is my second video and going on the second hour plus I had three false starts on this video and plus I uh, had to get up and do a couple things in between this video and the last video. He's probably thinking I've just shut myself in my room and I'm never coming out. <laughs> Which some days, that's what I feel like I want to do. Is just shut myself in my room and never come out. I'm not thrilled with that one. It's kind of off kilter. <sighs> oh, oh gosh. I am so sorry. gonna do this one again. We're gonna do those three again. Oops. Yes, if we were uh, living in Rochester where our relatives are all buried, my parents, Tony's dad, who was never in the military, but um, and why is that so cockeyed? Because <laughs> you put it in the same place, Martha. Okay, that's it. Just leave it. Um, his, he has a couple uncles that served in the military. They did not die, pass away in the military. I shouldn't say die. Um, they did not, they did come back from whatever service they performed in the military. Um, I don't think either of us have lost anybody in a war. I've said this in another video, but it's always nice to go visit our military. Oops. When it's a um, military memorial kind of day, like uh, Memorial Day is for those that were lost in the service of our country. And See, I just feel like I go in a better order when I go clockwise. 
Um, I go faster. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this will be pretty with this variegated thread. I'm glad I decided to do that. Um, under, under, under. Oops. Come on. Jeez. Cooperate, will you? Please. But, alas, we are not in Rochester, so that will not happen. That was our hometown as we were growing up, but neither of us have lived there. Tony left when he was 17. I... I left when I was 19. I'm going to put these in my in my chicken pin cushion. Because they're getting in my way. The way of progress. Okay. I want to make some more of those chicken pin cushions. I had a pattern. The pattern seems to be gone now. Which frustrates me because I don't know where to find it again. Um, but there was a lady on TikTok, or there is a lady on TikTok, who made little, same, same uh, pattern, but little tiny ones. They're about maybe two, three inches high and wide. Um, and she made them as sewing weights to um, use to hold down, you know, patterns pattern weights I guess you call them and I know I could adapt that pattern like just upsize all the pieces and adjust everything and get the same effect um, but I don't want my chickens to be as big as the one I just had my pins in because it's very big like it's great for when you're sewing on a sewing machine sewing a big project like a quilt or something but it's too big to have handy. And I want to make... Oh. What did I do? <laughs> oh, my. Okay. There. Um, I want to make the little ones. But the pattern weights she makes, I think, are a little too small. I mean, they're good for, like, an individual project. But... So I want something in between, and even she has shown where she made one a little bigger for um, a bigger uh, something. I don't know what she used, if she made a pincushion out of it or what. But, so I'm going to uh, probably do that at some point as well. But that should be a quick, real quick, like, sewing machine type project, not anything by hand. Come on. I made two of those chickens. I made one for myself by sewing a bunch of strips of skinny strips, really skinny strips of fabric together. And I made another one for my cousin and I sent it to her and I'm assuming it's still in her sewing room even though she's no longer capable of sewing because of dementia. But um I don't know what I did with the pattern. I have other patterns downstairs that I know I've had for a long time, but I can't find the chicken pattern. So I'm disappointed that I either gave that away, threw it away, lost it, something. I'm sure it's out there somewhere at some quilt shop, but you know, sometimes they don't carry like older patterns forever and that's probably 20 years old 15 years old maybe so of course I haven't taken the time to look around either because <laughs> yeah that's one of those things I don't think about doing when I'm like vegging out in front of TV trying not to fall asleep before it's time for bed so 
Oops. Is that the one I want to go under? No. It's that one. Well, this came out pretty with the variegated thread. It's just a, it still blends in quite a bit, but still. After this, I'm going to go cut up my watermelon and have some watermelon and some iced tea. Bought a mini watermelon. Because I'm usually the only one who eats it. Tony said he would help me eat it, but he won't. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Lovely being married 48 years. Almost. June 6th. June 6th. Being married to the same man for 48 years. want that one I want that one it's easy when you get this far you lose track easily all right well most of my spokes are pretty covered up I mean I that one I could probably do a few more times but I'm not going to add more thread just for that so I'm going to go once again I'm going to go down kind of hold these threads down tack them down you're not supposed to do this you're supposed to leave it alone but I don't want things catching on these and yanking all of this out. So I just do the outside threads a little bit and just sort of anchor them. I'd probably be fired by the embroidery police for doing this. But there aren't any of those on my page. And if there are, y'all can leave. <laughs> I do what I want to do on my stuff. Some days it's the only thing I can control. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I appreciate you joining me. I may continue this um, on screen or I may not. So... I don't know if you're interested in watching me do any more. I mean, it's just me stitching. But that's all I've got. So I appreciate you joining me. Thanks for letting me show off my goodies that I got as gifts. And thank you, Robin, for sending that gift. Came in the mail today. Um, and can't thank my friend Karen. She's not on YouTube. So I appreciate you being here, hanging out with me. I hope you got some stitching done yourself. And you guys all take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourself. Treat yourself better than you would treat others. Treat others nicely because you never know what somebody else is going through. And take care of yourselves. Love you all. Bye, everybody. See you in the next one.